Hi guys, welcome back to my amazing kitchen. And if you are new here, please don't forget to click on that subscribe button right now and join the amazing family today. We are still in the spirit of Christmas and so the making of treats continues. And in this video, I'm making peanut bread, which you may also know as Inkati cake. So delicious, easy to make, so come along and let's get started. We need just two ingredients which are granulated sugar and roasted peanuts without skin and unsalted and that's all. First I'm going to crush my peanuts in my food processor. Just to break it down a little bit I'm going to pulse it for a couple of times. You don't need to do this in your food processor you can just put it in a ziplock bag and bash it with a rolling pin or you know grind it in your asanka something like that will do as well. You can also leave it whole but I prefer to break it down a little bit and that's why I'm doing this so the choice is entirely yours. The peanuts are now perfectly broken down and as you can see they are not really smooth they still have a bit of texture to it and that's exactly what you want. Set it aside and prep a board with your rolling pin ready before we start with the making of the peanut bread dough. Next, we are going to make a dry caramel for our peanut bread dough and so we add our granulated sugar to our pot and level it out with our hand. Transfer it to our stove and melt it on a very low heat. Once the sugar begins to melt, you don't want to stir it because sugar crystallizes when you stir it, but rather swirl it around until it is evenly melted. Continue cooking it on low medium heat until all the sugar is fully dissolved and I find that when you use a non-stick pan it works really easy. It takes long for the sugar to get to this point but once it gets to this point it can burn quickly so you want to keep an eye on it. It took me about 30 minutes to melt the sugar completely. Once the sugar is completely melted, I'm going to go ahead and add the crushed peanuts to it and stir to combine. Working quickly, I'm going to stir everything until all the crushed peanuts are moistened with the caramel. And when it gets to that stage, I'm going to transfer it onto the board we prepared and roll it out. Make sure to oil your rolling pin with a little bit of oil so it doesn't stick to your peanut bread dough. And at this point, you have to work really fast before it sets. Roll it out as flat as possible as you can and cut it into your preferred shape. You can roll it up to about half an inch thick or an inch thick. It really doesn't matter. I like to roll mine out as flat as possible and cut them in triangles or in squares, but any shape will do. Sometimes I roll it really flat and break them apart in bags. That works fine too. The only thing is that you really need to work really quick so it doesn't set because when it sets it will become really hard and you can't cut them anymore. And there you have it, our peanut bread or inkati cake is now ready to be enjoyed. And like I've been telling you for the past days, I'm doing this with the intention of gifting it out to friends and family. So I'm going to uh, package it really nicely and give them out. This is pure sugar and not something that you should be eating every day. But it's once a year, so we are going all out for Christmas. Thank you so much for watching guys and see you in my next video. Bye.